I have a love-hate relationship with Ludum Dare. I think being able to opt out of voting categories where you didn't contribute anything is pretty cool. I like that the algorithm encourages you to play people's games, and there are some great individuals who stream them. I like that you can vote on the theme, though I have to say, what the heck guys? Who is voting for these terrible theme ideas? Delay the inevitable? We could have gotten folklore, guys. How cool would that have been? Instead, we get a theme that lends itself to pretty samey arcade games. Eh, I guess it's not so bad compared to the other options. So why am I doing this? Well, I asked you guys on Twitter if it was worth doing. For the most part, it seemed like you guys like it. And I give in to peer pressure pretty easily. So let's get into the game I made. With this theme, I think we're going to get a lot of score chasing game. But prepare yourself for a hot take here. I don't think it's that bad to make what people expect. If you're going to do that though, you have to make the best and most fun version of it. I mean, sometimes inspiration just strikes and you make something that blows everyone's minds. But for this one, I went with the former and created a game where you pop bubbles in a certain time limit. Okay, don't click off the video yet, I promise I made this a lot more fun than you might think. So the whole game is about trying to stay in the air and pop as many bubbles as you can before the 10 second timer runs out. And let me talk to you for a moment about the sheer brilliance that is the 10 second timer. For one, it's such a small chunk of time that anyone can commit to it. That makes it real easy to start another round when the first one ends. The second is that I can be really sneaky with it. The final 10 seconds of the timed game are the most intense part where you're trying to scrape together every last possible point. So in this game, we start in that tensest moment and only go harder from there. The reason this works for a game loop though is because you get a bonus time for every bubble you pop. It's about a 50th of a second, which isn't much to go on, but the longer you keep going without touching the ground, the higher that combo multiplier gets. It took a decent amount of playtesting, but the combo bonus is just enough that if you play aggressively without touching the ground, you can essentially keep going forever. Of course, it's hard to play perfectly, since every time you pop a bubble, you lose a potential platform to hop on, and the gravity is just fast enough that when you're coming down, it's easy to slip up and kill your run. Hitting a bomb is a really great way to rack up combo points, but it also eliminates a bunch of potential platforms platforms which makes you more likely to kill your run as well. To get a feel for how that goes, my normal score when I play is around 30 to 40, but when I have a great streak, I can get upwards of 200. I imagine there's some talented gamers out there who can score over a thousand with a bit of luck. But anyway, that's my Ludum Dare game. Did you participate? Be sure to leave your game link below so I can check it out. Good luck with the jam everyone.